his life within the confines of home, in the flats that he kept changing till he reached his last shelter, the flat on Bishop Lefroy Road. storehouses of ideas and images and recorded sound, ready sources to feed his imagination. Shadows from a hidden world of doubts occasionally surfaced in the red notebooks. From 
his close study of individuals, Ray was emerging to a larger perspective of forces that inhibited the growth of the individuals. A return to the Renaissance quest for the unshackled human being. The quest had a strong critical dimension, sometimes mocking, at other times enraged.